Okay, so I'm going to talk to you about monoclonal antibodies. Now, first of all, we're going to look at the word monoclonal. Now, monoclonal can be split up into two parts. So mono, which means one, and then clonal, which is like a clone, so it's an identical copy. So basically, monoclonal antibodies are just identical copies of one type of antibody. Now, you need to learn about how monoclonal antibodies are produced. Now, first of all, we're going to start with an antigen, okay? Now, an antigen is going to be injected into a mouse. So we've got the mouse here. Okay, so we've got the vaccination. It's going to be, it's going to be injected. The antigen is being injected into the mouse. Now, inside the mouse, just like if, for example, it was injected into us, the mouse is going to have lymphocytes. Now, the lymphocytes are just a type of white blood cell which produces antibodies. So we're going to have here a white blood cell, and that's going to produce antibodies. Now, what's special about these antibodies is they are going to be specific to the antigen that was injected into the mouse, okay? So they're going to have a complementary shape. So if, for example, we've got the antigen, which is this shape, then the, sorry, the antibody, which is this shape, the antigen would be complementary to the antibody, okay? So that's going to, the white blood cell, the lymphocyte, okay, is going to be producing antibodies okay now what we need to do is we then need to make lots of them antibodies now to do that the white blood cell only produce a few now we need to fuse it with a different type of cell so we need to find a cell which is very very fast abiding and that would be a tumor cell so we're going to fuse it with a tumor cell so we're going to put these two together so we're going to fuse them okay now that's going to end up with a cell which we're going to call a hybridoma. So like hybrid means that it's a mix of the two. So it's a mix of the, of the lymphocyte and the tumour cell. Okay. Now what that means is this hybridoma will produce the, the, um, the, the antibodies that we want it to, be, to produce, but also it will divide really, really, really fast. Okay. So over time, this hybridoma is going to divide and we're going to get lots of hybridomas, which all produce monoclonal antibodies. So we're going to have lots of monoclonal antibodies, which are specific to the ones which were the antigen which was injected um, into the mouse to begin with. OK, so these then, these antibodies can then be isolated. So we have lots of clones of that one antibody, okay, which is all specific to the original antigen that we were trying to detect. Now, this can then be used for things like um, the antibodies could bind to cancer cells um, if they spot that they're fast dividing. Um, they could be used for drug testing. They can be used for pregnancy tests, okay? So, but all, every time this process is used, okay? So, I want you to have a watch through this again, okay, make some notes and I'm going to give you some questions to answer.